What guys, this is uh, Saber Wolf again from Vidru.com with another uh, little commentary for you. Um, another quick one too. Um, this is actually Warwick and I'm actually jungling on Warwick. So how about that one, huh? Also I got a lot of my friends uh, with me for this one. I got uh, this Ritlu on Soraka, uh, Punchkeys on Morgana, who Morgana's or or overpowered by the way right now. Uh, Malkiar, um, that's uh, Mr. Mystic Man, that's what he's called in game usually. Um, he's on Rumble. Who's pretty? He's a pretty good soul in her too. And um, also, we got a Hemi on the uh, Caitlyn because he likes to play a lot of AD carries. Want another shot? I wouldn't want to leave things up in the air. So again, I'm playing on Warwick, and he's a very excellent jungler because he can life steal like crazy on his auto attacks. Uh, his skills, real quickly. Uh, his Q skill, basically, um, he targets when he um, targets. Um, he hits a target basically at range and he can life steal it for a pretty decent amount. It also scales with a spell vamp and ability to power. And then his W skill basically makes you rapidly attack faster and it makes your also your allies uh, rapidly attack faster as well. Uh, I get that one second. I, I only really only get one point in it unless I do the dragon. Uh, e skill is the second uh, level skill that you want to get um, leveled up faster. Um, basically you can detect somebody who's low on health on the other team and it makes you run faster so you can get to them a little sooner and move around. And uh, actually a second, uh, Q skill is when I level up first the most. And then of course you have his ultimate skill which is his um, which is um, basically he suppresses his target and he locks him in place and does a crazy amount of like rapid attacks on him on this target and that's where Madrid's blood razors come into play oh, that's why it makes it important so they CV'd us at blue um, this is why you want to have your teammates around you at blue um, because they might that they're just playing that he's just playing as a high chat here um, basically you want to have your team protect you on uh, your jungler at the beginning of the game because you never know this is where most I want to say 90 percent of your team fights at the beginning of the game is early fights happen at then the jungle areas right near blues and like that um, so you want to have your team protect you and then of course first hit for your uh, jungler as well to make it a little easier on him so you have extra health especially if there's another jungler on your other team that might counter you now on work, I start with a short sword and a uh, health pot because work's attacks already automatically heal him, so you really don't need the extra like cloth armor with five health pots. Um, you can actually do deal more damage this way, and of course, if you set up the way I set up for his uh, runes and masteries, which I set up very tanky, um, it's armor penetration marks, uh, flat armor seals, magic resistance per level glyphs, and flat health quintessences. And I also go with, actually I go with one armor pen uh, quintessence actually. And then for masteries I go a uh, 1, 8, 21 setup. Of course getting improves my um, your basic, your base armor and magic resistance for your uh, base level tank items, your tank areas. And two points in the um, extra um, mana regen depending on how, how, high your health, how high your health is. Because I do eventually get a uh, frozen mount on work though. So I'll increase your mana regen. And, and then 21, the basic whole 21 series for the uh, utility. And of course, getting an improved ghost. So at level 2, you get your W skill, which makes your attack faster. And like I said, because your short sword and your passive, which heals you more and more each time you hit a target, um, you can basically sustain yourself in jungle the entire time, especially if blue buff. His skills are ridiculously expensive. So blue buff is very important on Warwick. And of course your Q skill also as well, which I do level up again to level two 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 points at level three. This is basically this is the basic jungle path for work. This is the basic basic jungle path for almost any jungler. Uh, you start with blue, then you go to the wolves, then you go to the rays, and then you go to double golem at the bottom, and then you go to red after that. Um at this stage, um, I was wondering about ganking uh, bottom. I'm only level three. Warwick is not exactly your best uh, gank specialist at low levels until at least he's level six. Um, I didn't have red buff yet, so we felt it more better if we if I just get red buff right now. Now you shouldn't really smite that early. Um, I have a tendency to smite early just so I can get it uh, recharged faster when I need it again. Because um, unfortunately, when they I think this is where they CV'd me at red. Yep, see they CV'd me right there on top of my head. 
Um, that's a dangerous part because they could counter jungle me. They know exactly where I am, so he can come over and hurt me and steal it. Because I am a little low in health. Now I'm gonna juke their vision. I'm gonna juke that I'm coming back up towards wolves. And after it goes away, I'm gonna go back down the lane towards bottom instead. Because now I do have a red buff, so I'm gonna see if I can try to do maybe gank something. Because red buff does slow targets down. Didn't really get too many good ganks in this game. Now I'm trying to get up high because that Janna was up in that lane pretty far. So, but unfortunately, um, my team, the minions, the way the minions were, just pushed the lane up too fast, and I'm not going to be. Able, if you push lane too close to the tower, I'm not going to be able to get a chance to go get them. Which was unfortunate. So now I'm going to head towards, uh, back towards the top direction of top. Yeah, unfortunately in the replay it didn't give me the health on them. But pretty much uh, Malkir pretty much decimated the Leona up top. Now the reason why you have a jungler in in the in the um, wooded areas there is that it allows your team to have one extra guy solo lane. So basically top lane, solo lane, normally your tanky or um, bruiser guy who can gain extra levels faster. So you get two people that can actually gain quicker level faster. You have one guy bottom who's usually AD carry just to babysit them to make sure they're going to stay okay and alive. And then you have one guy in the jungle who can help gank lanes and help um, do various things. Now I'm still in that level 6. The navy is pretty low. Um, if I was 6 I might have jumped in there and tried to get him. but. Yeah, right. Um, also, another good thing. If you're in the jungle and you don't want to be known where you are, uh, make sure you turn off your E-scale. Because if you get somebody gets low in health and you sniff them out, there's, there's a warning sign. It's like, oh, geez, there's a warrior nearby. And you might scare them. So if you turn it on and off, it doesn't cost you any mana to do that. So just keep it off until you absolutely need it. Um, I turned it on because I was looking for a Yi. I'm just trying to kill, go after a Yi and maybe kill him. But I couldn't find him. And I thought <laughs> for a minute there on those golems, those double golems top, I just I just killed. When I first got there, they weren't there and they just happened to spawn right there. I was gonna give up on them and be back, but yeah, they just decided to pop up right there, so that was cool. Um so first trick back for work, you wanna get the base level Madrids, um Madrids razors, because on jungle this is the best item for junglers, because on hit when you hit a minion um, it does 500 damage, and then tier 1 boots is the other thing. And if you have the money, um, ward, and depending on how well you did, um, if I get, if I do good ganks, and I get good kills and assists or whatever, I'm sometimes able to get a Vampire Scepter. Because on ward, by the time you get to level 7, definitely by level 8, um, you can solo dragon. With just a Vampire Scepter in your Madrid's regular razors. Um, Morgana basically took um, Nivea down to her egg form. So since I was in the area, I was nearby. I helped, ran in quickly and helped them try to take out the uh, egg the rest of the way. I took a couple tower hits. I stayed there for a second to make sure I could Q hit to bring my health back up again, and uh, and we got the kill. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, um, <laughs> pretty much, I didn't really need much help in mid. Uh, later on, I do. Um, we do get her. I do a completely pure gang deal. I mean, she was low on health, but... And this is why work needs a blue buff. Because two skills and my mana pool is almost gone. Already gone. So now I'm finally at level 6. Also it's good because it lowers your cooldown on your uh, Q and your uh, ultimate too. So now that I finally have my ultimate, now I'm going to walk around a gate. want to gate somebody. Now I was a little behind on levels too because I was trying to set up for ganks and walking around too much. So I want to suck up at least one XP. <laughs> I was like, I just went one, bro. Yeah, as Tammy put it, um, Punchy does. <laughs> Punchy and Morgana does not make the game fun for everybody else because he owns everything. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So I go over to their jungle to steal because stealing other the other player's jungle is very um, powerful. So. I smite it early and I hit it with a Q early to make sure I could you could steal it, but 
right at the end there, you, I, I meant to give that to Morgana. I did not steal that on purpose. What happened was is that my Madrids, which has a 15% chance to proc to do extra damage, um, <laughs> double procced on me. And a 15% chance to proc one time, it double procced on me. Sad face, I know. So I ended up doing a f over a thousand damage in a matter of a couple seconds, and I accidentally took it from Morgana. I felt bad, but it's just sometimes that's the way it is. So now I'm getting another red buff to be in full gank mode and to try to stay up on levels. Usually by now, usually I've based a couple times and I set up myself up for dragon with a vampire scepter. This time I didn't really do that. I kind of just kind of roamed around in the middle of the jungle a lot. Trying to look for ganks and stuff, and I just couldn't find any. Oh, uh, the reason why the gank just there failed is because um, the other team had a ward. A good old ward in the bush there. It's a perfect way to counter your jungle, kill the jungle and the other team. So get them for not yelling, killing you. That's yeah, just the way it is. Yeah, see. <laughs> Punch you with another kill on Nivea. So since you got another kill, Nivia, uh, once again, I'm happen to be in the area. So I run up and we're like, okay, well, let's try to uh, get a tower while we're uh, while she's down. So I want to save my W till we get to the tower, so we can start hitting it. Now Yi comes over to try to protect it, but we're like, you know what? He's not gonna do anything to us. He can't do anything to us. So we're just gonna ignore him. He could try to smack me around a little bit, but if I do do is hit Q one time and heal my health almost all the way up. So unfortunately I ran out of minions, only a couple hits left, I was like, dude, just hit it one more time. See, there you go. See, he tried to go, go after us, I got a top of the hit Q one time, boop, mouth goes all the way up again. So I'm just kind of rolling around looking for something. See if the wolves' his wolves are up, see if I could steal those. Nope, not there. And bottom lane is fighting again, so I'm gonna head towards the bottom, see what we can do there. Still haven't gotten dragon yet. Usually I've gotten dragon like already by now. This game again really. But like I said, war can easily do it. Oh, see, um note to people out there who want to jungle, make sure you tell you the lane that you're gonna gank. Sometimes they're not paying attention to where you are in the map. Um give them a ping, let them know. Um that was totally my fault on that. Don't do that. This is a perfect example of what not to do. On a gank. Uh, later on, I'll have a perfect example of what to do uh, on a gank, but that was what not to do. Jump in there face first and not tell your teammates that you're going to do that. As you see, like when I'm last hitting like that and when I'm like moving, I'm trying to move as fast as possible through the jungle. Sometimes just moving that little bit. Like the extra step in between your hits is all that matters between the couple of seconds that you might need going through the jungle. Just gotta practice kind of timing your attack speed and your movement speed at the same time, and you'll get it with practice. Now, once again, back in the area here, my blue buff's gone, um, but. Anivia is gone too, so we're just gonna like, okay, let's try to get this tower the rest of the way down. Bing, we got a tower. So now the mid tower down, that puts us in a very advantageous position to do things. Hey, he got me with that stun. Gosh darn it. Now we're gonna farm up a little bit. Now at this point, I need to play catch up mode for my levels. I'm a little, quite, quite a bit far behind. So now I'm finally gonna buy. <laughs> I should have bought. Wow. Took so long into the game. Oh, no, I didn't go back. That's right. I didn't go back because Melchior said, Oh, dude, Luiano is uh, low up top, so let's go kill her. So I'm like, okay, I'm coming up top. I don't know how many times I try to be and I get called to go look for uh, They were pinging for, I think, that Yi was supposed to be coming or something. But So here's here's the initiation from him. I jump in there. There's the E finally coming in for the counter gank. Uh, we were able to get her. Took turns getting the tower hitting us. I'm um, screaming, Melkir, turn around! Melkir, turn around! Gosh darn it, turn around! We're gonna kill him if you turn around. So finally he turns around. I finally get a Q hit at the end. 
insane. Good old punch you with a fancy splash over the wall. Be cool kid there. If gets to finish off the kill, as always, gets the last kill on his AP carries. So now we get the kill on Leona and Yi, double kill for the win. Now we're gonna try to take this tower down quite a bit. And again, pop the W, it also helps your uh, allies hit faster. Now, Leon teleported back in. Ooh, she did a lot of damage. Now, there's a lot of damage to Melkier. I came up and tried to do something, and I guess whatever I did worked. I cued her one time to say, get off him, and she did. I don't know why she got off him, because she could have killed him. But, uh, yeah. I guess this Leona wasn't paying attention to what she was doing. So now at this point, this now I'm basically going to show you the power of Lanewick. Uh, Lanewick was one of those like myths where everybody's like, oh, don't play Lanewick, it's, he's better than jungle, blah 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 blah. Well, the thing was with uh, Warwick on a lane, yeah, see that's just being annoying, just stunning me for two seconds. For I think it's like, taking me two seconds, but anyways, um, thing with lane, Lanewick, he is so powerful because every time he hits the minion, he can heal himself, and then with the Q skill, I can just heal myself back up. So you see how she's gonna like uh, try to hit me there, and I'll just Q her one time, and also way up, up again. Uh, Melky is gonna hit mid to try to um, help out and try to move around the jungle and like that. Hope maybe some ganks while I'm staying in lane and try to level up and catch up on levels. I hit last hit better on work than I do on Garen. Golly. Of course, it's easier when you have Madrids. Owie. <laughs> I should have just last hit that anyways, but whatever. I was like, ah! Tower's gonna get me! Yeah, well. <laughs> they uh, work, of course. That one Q shot uses so much mana. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm careful when Leona does that. That's a tell. If Leona's powering up your shield like that, that is a good tell that she might dive on top of you and maybe with a geek gank coming on at you. So you want to be careful when she powers up that shield like that, because she can do a lot of burst damage to you. That's why I kind of backed off for a second. Now I'm loving on my E, of course. Now she hears that burst damage that she tried to do on me. Here comes the E out of nowhere. I ult her to try to kill her, but Yi came in out of nowhere. There's the E skill level up. It makes me move faster, plus my ghost. I'm able to get out of there without a problem. And also that ult like, also heals yourself up fast. If you're getting low in health, if you just jump on somebody and just start ulting them, you can, with those multiple fast attacks, you are able to heal yourself up too. That's another little tip for you. Yeah, so I finally get back and get my Vampiric Scepter. And instead of buying, um, and that's their basic core, that's my core build um, for jungling on work. Uh, Boost of Swiftness, the Plain Madrids, and the Vampiric Scepter. Um, then I actually get, um, actually got the bow um, instead of getting the uh, pickaxe. Also, so also the also jobs of the jungle, if you know the other teams have been warding, um, get a Oracles. So you can get rid of their uh, wards. Because you're moving around the jungle. All the wards are usually put in the jungle. So get an oracles and you're able to take out the other wards. But unfortunately they didn't ward the rest of the game. Even though I saw we saw them put down three wards. We didn't ward again. Oh and also you can text self characters. So yeah I knew that he <laughs> would use this clone. I see him walking away on because I had oracles. Now I'm over by dragon. There is no or There is no ward. But they know we're over there, so I'm gonna put my ward down just in case something weird happens. And here comes Yi to try to do the dragon. But we already set up four guys there. He's like, ah, oh, I'm getting out of here. So we take control of the dragon and get it. Now, I didn't really need help there, um, but it's always safe in case, you know, because there was like three of them over there on bottom. Um, so you want to make sure that you can secure dragon for everybody, because it's gold for everybody. But like I meant, like I said, like a couple times already, or can easily solo dragon early in the game. With just those um, just those couple items, the uh, Madrids and the Vampire Scepter, and I do actually get a red um, pod just in case. So now I'm sniffing around stuff, getting ready for looking for ganks and stuff. 
Looking for wards too. No, I smell the Anivia. Um, punch the Anivia low. So we're like, okay, you want a ganker? It's like, yeah, I'll get suppressor and ganker. We can get this. I'm like, okay. So here I come. Boom. Suppressed her, hold her in one spot. Get my Q in there, and we got her. Now that is how you communicate with your team and do a gank properly. Communication wins games. So yeah, Mal got a little low on health and ran down to the bottom bush. Um, I guess he got hit by Leona. At first I didn't really know why um, he ran away, but then I saw Leona by herself in lane. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to come over and cover it, make sure she didn't get that tower. I turn your E on, get in the position, because I know she was high in health, so it's not going to trigger anything. Oh, but the game ended, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's pretty much work in that show uh, for jungling and for laning. And I hope you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, it was short, and I will talk to you later. All right? Uh, thank you, and have a good day.